Welcome back to the shed. Today we are going to be building a roof for my hive that I'm taking down to my piece of land. Uh, I wasn't actually going to do a video on it but I thought well if I'm building one I may as well so here we are and you're obviously here watching it so obviously there's some worth in it for the, for the seven people that like watching. <laughs> but anyway so uh, obviously your hive is 460 mil by 460 mil so obviously your piece of wood, your piece of plywood, which is what I'm using, and a scabby old piece of plywood as it is. But um, so I've actually chopped this one at 520 mil. So that's given me 60 mil to play with, 30 mil, 30 mil all the way around. Um, I've cut some sides uh, out of an old shelf that I found. Thought that would be okay. So I've chopped those down. I've chopped those down to 520 mil by 100 so the, the depth doesn't really matter too much really but I wanted to put a bit of a, a space in mine really so I want it to sit quite high because what I'm hoping to do with this hive is um, I found a little piece of um, 25 mil insulation board which is I'm go I was going to try and slot into the top of the hive which is what I'm going to probably do today um, so it's got a little bit of a heat, bit of heat protection so uh, what I've done, and uh, I've also chopped the, uh, the the inside side bits that will bolt to. Uh, these are 484 mil by 100. This may differ for you. It all depends on what you're using. Obviously, I'm not buying wood that's perfect. I'm using what I've got. So you'll have to make it. What, what I've actually done, obviously, you've got your uh, timber that you're going to use. I'm going to use this which is lath because I've got a lot of it um, which I think it's a inch and a half by three quarter I'm using so what what I've done to get to to get up to 520 mil is I'm going to use the lath as the shoulder inside inside the roof so that's what I'll, that is actually what I'll make contact with the uh, the brood box or the supers or whatever whatever you've got uh, so what I did is I put three pieces of this together uh, I dropped my hive on top of a piece of plywood, push it right up against the edge, put three of these on the outside of it, marked it, did it the other way, same again, three pieces, because that means that the the gap between the roof and the brood box will be half that distance because the other half will be sitting on top of the brood box in theory. So anyway, um, the other thing that I wanted to do with this is uh, obviously I wanted to put a vent on uh, in, in the roof so um, what I've decided what I've had a little bit of an idea of how to do this uh, I didn't really want to just do a I didn't really want to just do a hole saw through the side a bit of mesh on the inside because obviously it collects water and it's a bit crap don't like doing it so my idea was if I cut a couple of little wedges of wood like this 22 and a half degrees I figured if I screwed those two there in a very rough makeshift way, just a couple of screws in them, I, and I set my table saw depth, I might just be able to run that. Well, it does work because I will try it actually. Here's one of a pound earlier in my bin. Hang on a second. So I kind of. Oh, it's really bright. So I did that. That's what I ended up with. So I was just thinking I could just take out the top bit there. Put a bit of mesh on that'll give me, but I'm not really sure whether that's you know because I wanted to bring the covering quite far down really, and that's not it's not going to get covered by my covering. Mm. Well, I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do there. I'm not sure whether I'm happy with that, but anyway, that's your that's your choice really. What you want to do, what you want to do with it. I'm probably not going to do that to be honest with you. Now I've had a little bit of a think about it. It's uh, I don't know, not good enough for really, it, I don't think. There's probably a better way for me to do it. I'll probably, what I'll probably end up doing is, once I've built, once I've built the lid, is I'll um, hole saw a piece of wood all the way through, chop it off at an angle, so I've, so the, basically the hole saw, forget it, I'll show you, is the easiest thing. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build 
my roof, which is what I'm going to do. So I've got my this piece of wood because it was a bit of a shelf. It's obviously been glued and screwed. It's got a little bit of a flappy bit, but I'm not concerned about that because this is the edge that that's going to be facing down. That's just going to have the plywood on, and it's going to be pinned. So that will end up being pinned to it anyway because I've got some quite long pins in me. Uh, in me uh, nail gun so anyway I'll stop this for a second and I'll just glue and nail this together so you get a rough idea okay glued and nailed together it's not gone off yet so I'll have to be a little bit careful with it so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my my lath which is inch and a half by three quarters and I'm just going to put it around on the inside. I'll just put it, just nail it on the inside, just a couple of little little tacks and some glue all the way around, depending on wherever you want the for that to sit. I, I'm probably going to sit this in probably a couple of inches so that I've got you know probably maybe th well, what is it, six inches? I've got six inches, so they'll be they'll be roughly about three and a half inches above this. That'll give me enough room for 20 for an inch of insulation, a couple of inches air gap, and then I'll have a little bit of it. I'll have about a two inch overlap. So when it, when it actually when it actually sits on the hive, it'll sit. You know, it'll, it'll sit down. So it's not gonna it's not gonna fall off really easily. So I'll just chop a couple of those. I I, I do measure a lot of my stuff, but to be honest with you. You know, a little gap here and a little gap there. I'm not that bothered about it, to be honest with you. So I'll just, uh, I'll just kind of run with this. I don't want it that side because I've got a couple of I've got a couple of holes in this in this wood that I want to try and cover up with this. Really, that's probably a little bit of why I'm doing it like I am. So I'll just put it on there and just mark that. Go over to my table saw. Probably a two mil gap there, you see. But that's all. That's all I'm going to do. Just going to get. Like that. I'll probably just because that because I've got that hole there that I definitely want to cover. So I'll probably sit it there, maybe right on the bottom of that hole. So it'll leave me that kind that kind of gap on the top. You know, maybe a three inch gap, inch of insulation that gives me a little bit of a, a gap, and I'll and I'll put my air vent in that bit there. So I'll I'll just frame that round, and then I'll come back and. Show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I've uh, put that all the way around, as you can see. I, I ended up screwing and gluing it because I ran out of nails, but I had some nails, but they would have protruded from the outside, therefore making me more, more work. So I didn't. So I just tried it on to the hive, and it seems to sit lovely. Got probably a little bit more play than I really would have liked, but you know. It's okay. It doesn't. It doesn't make any major gaps when I, if it moves from side to side. So that's it. I'm okay with that. So now I'm going to make my little vents. Is what I'm going to do. So I've got myself a piece of what well it was uh, some six x two, uh, just an off cut. But anything will do as long as you've got a bit of length to hold it. And then I'm going to put a uh, 30, 38 mil maybe something like that into that. The scrap wood. So I've drilled a little hole through my piece of wood. I'm now going to chop it this off at an angle on my table saw, uh, chop saw. And I might do a, well, we'll go for 22 and a half. Why not? Uh, uh, shall I go 22 and a half? I'll just go more than that.
and now I've got that sitting at an angle. So hopefully, if I get my, I should be able to put that on there, and it'll, I can now follow that line, and it should cut it at an angle. I'm just going to do a little bit of a measurement just to make sure I'm in the right place. So I'll go about 75 mil to the bottom of the hole, uh, so that I'm covering the the strip, uh, the uh, the edging strip there. So I'll just do uh, 75 mil. That's by 20. That's 260. So somewhere on that line. Like I say, it doesn't it doesn't matter uh, loads really where it goes, but. at a bit of an angle so at least if the water gets onto it it's not going to uh, dribble water inside and I'll just put a bit of mesh on that just to stop the, uh, the bees getting out of it we'll do another one this side 75 mil 260 mil somewhere on that line there there we go roughly the same but yeah, so I've got two vents in there now. I don't know if you look at it straight on, you'll see that it's got a bit of a slope to oh, a bit slope on. It's got a little bit of a slope to it. So hopefully once I sand that out a little bit, put a bit of mesh on the inside, drop the roof on, so it should be good to go. So my roof, my 520 roof, not really sure what I'm gonna cover it with yet, but I've got to find something and I've got to find something tonight because I'm uh, it's going on site in the morning, so I might just nail it on for now. I, I normally sand these little edges off here because they uh, just saves it fouling on something. So there you go, that's the plywood roof on. That one's uh, obviously come through a bit of an angle, so I'll probably tap that one out. And then I'll uh, I'll cover it with something. I haven't got any metal, and I do normally like to cover them in metal, but uh, for now, I'll we'll have to use something different. Not really sure what. But um, that's principally your your roof made. You haven't really got to do a lot, anything more than that, really. Um, you can go as elaborate as you want, like I say, a couple of bits of mesh. In fact, I've even nailed it through there like an idiot, but there you go. That's what you get for rushing it. That should have been done days ago, really. So, yeah, that's it, really. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. It's not been the best video, this one, but I thought I'd just cover the roof anyway. At least you've got, you know, a rough idea of, you know, what you're building if you've got no idea. But I'm, su I'm sure most of you are beekeepers and you'll just probably pull it apart, but, you know... Realistically, I'm just rushing this through so I can uh, I can get this down onto a site tomorrow. Uh, just to, I'm only getting the site ready really, but I want to take a hive down there. We're on coronavirus lockdown at the moment, so you know you're not really supposed to be travelling anywhere. But obviously, with uh, me doing it for bees, like it's actually classed as a livestock, so we're allowed to go out and do bee-related things. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So that gets me out the house for a day, really, which is quite nice. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you again next time.